初めての相手はジョジョではないこのキャプテンワンアップス Previously on Soccer Swim Club You saw everything, didn't you? <laughs> What do you mean everything? Y yes. Hello, everybody. It's Captain One Ups, and welcome back to. I can't believe I'm saying this. Well, well welcome back to Soccer Swim Club. <laughs> It's been a、uh, very, very, very long time since I've come to、uh, play this game. So I thought I might as well pop back to it, you know? I, I, I'm feeling ready, I'm feeling prepared, I'm coming back with some new stuff. This is one of them since I started it a year ago, and <laughs> I thought, hey, why not? People have been asking for it for some unearthly reason, and it got too many views. And people are still subscribing to me over it, so I'm like, stop. <laughs> okay, stop. It's, 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 not, it's not my proudest moment. But I thought I might as well try to make this series a little bit better by getting back to it nowadays, since I have evolved from <coughs> unnecessary edits. Okay, where were we?、Uh, I don't even remember. Last time.、Uh, I, th I think we just met these two. Okay, yeah. Alright. I don't even remember their voices. Did I do voices? I don't remember anything. Oh no, not you again! <laughs> not him again. This is the guy who. <laughs> She can't bring herself to finish saying it. It before she was shouting it shamelessly. Ah.、Uh, apologize. I'm sorry about that. I really didn't mean to. I get nothing but a pout in response. <laughs> okay, she's voice acting in Japanese. Okay. I, I'm sorry for interrupting you, voice actor. Guys always say they're sorry. But don't really mean it. This happens twice just to prove that. This happened twice as. Yes, this isn't. Okay! I need to turn out the voices! <laughs> yes, it's unfortunate that you walked in when that happened. I don't think we need to tell you that you shouldn't mention what happened here. I mean, what would I say? <laughs> like, oh, I went to the pool and, and they were just fighting. Like, what, what, what could I possibly say in, in this moment to anybody? The white haired girl seems rather cool about the whole situation now that it's over. If you say anything about this, what am I saying? Or what happened in the hallway? The black haired one, on the other hand, looks really mad. Yeah, you don't say. And for the longest time, like, I, I remember playing this like a few years back. And she always looks like she has brown hair to me. But then they're like, oh, she has black hair. And I'm like, that don't, it don't feel right after hearing that. And then you're like, oh, I guess she does, you know? Her gaze is practically burning a hole through me. Don't worry about it. I won't tell anyone. Thank you. You're that transfer student, aren't you? Kaede, right? Yeah, and you two are? How can you be so confident at times? Like, I'll. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! I need to turn you off! How, how can you be so confident at times like this, Hiromi? Hiromi, so that's her name. He said he wouldn't tell anyone. I'm sure he would keep his word, Mieko. How can you be so sure about that? Really, I won't tell anyone. Like I said before, what can I actually say? It would be nasty to do something like that. Okay, you don't trust me, I got it. Hiromi ignores her friend's outburst. So, what are you doing here? I was checking out the clubs. It's my first day, after all. Oh, 
then I think you found the right club. After you guys just got really tilted. Do we really want someone like him to join his swim club? What do you mean someone like him? What do you mean by that? I literally just... Okay. No, I got you. I got you, Miyako. I got you. Romy looks around at her, at the vast, empty building around her. There's not anyone else around. Oh, right. Right? Listen, since you've caused me so much trouble, what do you mean caused you so much trouble? All, all these were actually accidents. And you're just like, oh, you're, you're a dude, so instant pervert. <laughs> You should join a swimming club. Like goodness, Miyako's clapping my cheeks. I, I I need her to calm down. Well, this is a strange turn of events. Yeah, you you don't say. First she was mad at me. Now she's asking me to join her club. We really need new members. See, that sounds like a PP, a personal problem. I just got roasted. If we don't, they're going to close our club. H how long have you guys been lasting? I just got here. How long have you guys had this club? How long? Go ahead and tell me. And you guys didn't get shut down yet? This seems a little bit too convenient for my liking, everybody. Both of them gaze at me. The weight of their stare is heavy. I don't think that I can say no. And why not? Before I do, can I ask something? Okay. Both of them seem to freeze up, anticipating something. I heard from someone that you aren't welcoming of new members. I mean, I think you could have just nipped that in the bud in your head since they just welcomed you to just kind of yeah so why are you inviting me so readily they just said please ignore those rumors okay so rumors yeah a deep disappointed frown forms on her face if we weren't why would we invite you in the first place yet yeah, see you could have just you know discarded that theory right there of course you'd believe in that what <laughs> Miyako, I'm gonna need you to calm down. I... You shouldn't just accept what everyone says as fact. I just got here. <laughs> I just got here. No wonder they have an infamous reputation. But still, I can't just leave them like this. That's all I wanted to know. Don't worry about it. I'll join. It's not that I'm gonna go in out of this guilt or obligation, though. All the other clubs... Let's just say that something feels exciting about this one. The fact that something has finally caught my interest is nothing short of significant. Both of them really look happy when I say that. Finally! We have a new member! Wait a minute. Don't you need, like, four members in order to officially... I, I, I'm just... They're overjoyed at the moment. I can't really join in as I don't have the full significance of it. Even though it had to be this guy, I can't believe you, Miyako. You just met me, and we we r ran into each other while an un two unfortunate accidents happened. And you're over here, like, roasting me down, clapping all my cheeks. She's not going to let that go, I'm guessing. I'm just warning you, I haven't been swimming in years. Of course. Don't worry about that. We're both training you, of course. <laughs> she seems fairly confident about that, but Miyako doesn't seem to, to, to like it. We we will? I'm not a very good teacher. Miyako nervously shifts on the spot. Uh, are you, you really sure we should teach him? I mean, I'm your what? Come, come on, Miyako. I know you're a good swimmer. Wait a minute. <laughs> What do you mean? You wanted me in your club, and then I just said I can't swim, and now you're all over here like, yeah, I don't think we should teach him. So so what's, what's going to be the point of the whole swim club if one of us can't swim? Miyako! Just show him how to do it. I'm not as good as you, though. What? Why are you in the... I'm quickly glanced at my watch and realized that, that it's getting late. Sorry to cut you off, but I really need to get home. Oh, okay. We will see you tomorrow, right? Oh, now, now, now you want to... Okay. Alright. No, you might not see you tomorrow. Because that attitude of yours is stank me, Echo. I, 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 you might not, okay? She looks at me with hopeful eyes. Of course you will. No, don't say that, Kaede. Leave her in suspense, okay? Leave her in suspense. But seriously, I need to get home now. I'm sure we'll, I'm sure we'll see you. I'm sure too. 
Okay. She doesn't sound very confident about that. Yeah, and she gives me a little bright smile like that after she's just freaking... <sighs> really, I promise that I will. I'm sitting between you, after all. Oh, well, he actually has to promise. Right, we'd be mad if you don't come. But see, what if I just coincidentally broke my legs? <laughs> so, please come out to school. Tomorrow. Tomorrow after school. Got it. Where else? Alright, it's agreed on. Until next time. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, after school is pretty obvious, because I'm not going to come over here in the morning or like during anything else. It is why you need to have a look at things for yourself. Other people can easily mislead you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I... Yeah. Dot 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 dot, as usual. The sun is setting by the time I make it back home. This isn't exactly how I was expecting my first day to be. I thought it was gonna be the same old and boring beginning. Yeah, but see, you're a protagonist, friend. It's never like that. <laughs> Introduce yourself, join a club, make friends, do study. Do study? <laughs> do study? I, I need to look at the playback on that. Do study. Oh yes, definitely. But it's gone far more differently than I thought it would. <laughs> do study, I can't get that out of my head now. I've already made two new friends. Uh, friends? More of associates, I'd say. I wouldn't say friends off the bat, you know. They're gonna teach me how to swim. I wouldn't count on that. Do I really want to be the swimmer? Maybe not, but I think that they need me. Yeah, they do. I don't want—I don't want their club to close. They—they see, they seem to love swimming. Yeah, so I'll have to wait and see how this all works out. I have to think more about those rumors, though. Judging by what I saw, they were desperate for new members. Of course, that would be a given, since practically everyone in else discourages anyone from joining the club. Yeah, even last last part. Even the teacher is like, hey, don't join a swimming club, they suck. So I'm like, goodness, man. Like, you don't have to do them like that, you know? It isn't a wonder that they're down only the two members. I mean, from the whole school, do you think, like, Rumors is really gonna, like, tap into everyone? And Like, eventually there's gonna be a, a group of people that don't really care. And they're just like, screw the Rumors. Like, you know, swimming club? I like swimming, so why not, you know? You know, like, some people just don't care, but I guess, pfft, freaking virtual novel. So, what exactly happened for things to end up that way? No one seems to want to talk about it. A distinct sound echoes through my apartment, cutting through with my idle thoughts. I can hear my phone ringing. <laughs> if I ever have those freaking, if I ever have those narration of thoughts to myself, I heard something cutting through my idle thoughts, it was the phone. I'm, I might actually uh, commit harm on myself. <laughs> I already know who it is. But I don't want to answer the phone. Even if I ignore it, though, it's going to keep ringing. Okay, then just pick it up and then hang it up again. Just, just do that strat. Or I'll simply, simply un un unplug the phone. If you don't want to answer it that badly. You would presume something happened if I didn't answer it. Okay, then pick it up then. Slowly, I pick up the phone. Now comes the moment I dread. Hey, Dad. His familiar masculine voice echoes through the phone. Hello, son. Just checking in to see how you're doing. Wait, how come his text isn't blue? you think the mom would be Okay. Judging by the sound of his voice, he's nervous. What's wrong? Oh, it's just that I rang earlier, but you weren't there. I was kind of worried about how your first day went. Don't worry. I was just a bit late getting back home, that's all. Well, it's good to hear that you're doing fine. Fine is a very relative term for me. How was it, by the way? He immediately goes for the kill. I can hear the anxiousness in those words. Is this school any better? He desperately wants to hear yes. It practically means the word to him, the world to him, right? Not the word to him. Fortunately, I don't have to lie to him about it. Yeah, I don't mind this one. What about friends? Have you made any new ones? It's my first day, Dad! Freaking give me a break! <laughs> His tone is a lot less grim, but still. It stings every time he asks about that. But I don't dare say anything. Two girls I met at the swimming club. They're pretty nice, from what I could tell. Swimming club? 
the tone of his voice is completely changes. What's wrong, Dad? Oh, nothing. It's just that, do you really want to do swimming? I, what else? What do you want me to do, Dad? I'm just browsing around, dude. Why wouldn't I want to do swimming? There's plenty of other clubs at that school. I checked out there out myself. I just don't really see you as a swimmer, that's all. I see you as a chess player, or a, or a band geek, or something. You really want to do swimming, which is completely harmless? So, would you consider doing anything else? No other clubs interest me, Dad! Leave me alone! Not really. Other clubs are boring. I see. Anyway, you say you made new friends? He's changing the subject. I'll just go with it. If they're girls, too. <laughs> Reveler girls do. Every single time. It's a little early to be planning anything like that, Dad. I can hear him scoff at that. Don't be ridiculous. It's never too early. <laughs> this man want grandchildren immediately. Your mother and I met in middle school after goodness gracious. <laughs> He always likes to bring that up, whatever he can. The two of them have been together for decades now. I think he's one of the few men who have truly achieved idol lo ideal love. Idol love. <laughs> Once again, I live in his shadow. There's nothing wrong with thinking about that sort of future you could have, Kyrie. You never know if there's a cute girl in it. <laughs> My dad wants me to make the plays. I know, I know. I'm only in school, though. If I know my dad at all, there's definitely he's definitely shaking his head right now. That's the best time for romance! <laughs> Why don't you go play some visual novels? <laughs> it's before you get old and cynical like me! Dude, what do you mean? This man's a teenager! <laughs> Oh, just getting old and cynical at age 21. Imagine that. Well, <laughs> well, what do they think about that, actually? <laughs> he laughs for a bit. Anyway, I have to make this brief today. Next time we talk, I promise I'll stay around for a bit longer. Your mother and I have high expectations, Kayade. I know that you will do us proud. Of course. Until next time, Kayade! Later. The phone goes silent then. Yeah, Dad. I know that you have high expectations. I couldn't read that for some reason. I was actually tripping on that word. I just wish you would ask me if I wanted to be a prodigy. Every time we talk, I feel like you're... Is being a prodigy really something you ask? I mean, it just kind of happens, right? I feel like you're on the edge of asking that question, but we always just barely avoid it. Why can't I just be myself? I mean, dang. This man, this man, this man got some problems. Rays of light dance across my face. <laughs> I wish I could wake up like this. Oh, rays of light dance across my face. <laughs> With great effort, I pull myself up. I stumble over the window, to the light blinding me as I look and try to look out. My eyes eventually adjust. I look like another, it looks like another sunny day. Good morning, world. <laughs> you are not saying this right now. This isn't real. <laughs> no one is there to say good morning. Yeah, yeah, that, see, that, that's the problem with doing that. Was I really expecting anything else, though? I mean, okay. So, this is day two. Freaking, what, what is this, Duncan Rump? What, what, why, why are we counting our days like this? <laughs> I mean, what? It's, it seems to be going far faster than I was expecting. My curtains billow as a strong wind howls through the window. Summer storms are supposed to be coming in today. I really hope that this isn't it isn't raining by the time I get home. Well, based on how you're a protagonist, it will. <laughs> Knowing my luck though, it will probably be Yeah. 
yeah, it probably will. And if something's glued, it's probably gonna happen. Just freaking knowing this, I didn't have to run myself ragged to get to school on time, thankfully. But as I research those front gates of the school, I can help some... <laughs> Fancy seeing you here, Kaede. Everyone goes through this gate eventually. <laughs> He's so edgy. Not everyone goes through this gate to get it's in the school, you know. You get the idea. It's not really special to see me here. Nonetheless, it's nice to see you. Thanks, Hiromi. At least you're nice to me. At, at least, at least you have that laid-back attitude. You let go of things quickly, unlike someone I know. Um. <coughs> 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 Nice to see you too. So I heard a bit about the, 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 you through rumors. Ah, so you're listening to rumors now. You know, it's very funny how the roles reverse in this situation. Are you really the son of who I think you are? Oh. Oh. Guys, guys, now she's gonna try to get my pants! Oh no, someone's already worked out who I am. Yes. What of it? You're not really what I've expected. Okay. Alright, so just off the bat with the roast I see. I'm just gonna crack my knuckles real quick. What were you expecting exactly? Everyone talks about your father being larger than life. An extremely charismatic and talented man. You, you're quite different from what I've seen so far. Why should I be the same as my father? I'm me. That's all I want to be. Right, I see. She nods thoughtfully to herself. Is this the third school you've transferred to this year? Yeah. Why do you move around so much? It's not really my choice to. Isn't it your choice? It isn't your choice? The Look, I'm just gonna say this to you. My father has expectations. And I haven't been meeting those expectations. It's something I'd rather not talk about with a stranger. I- what, Kaede, hold- Whoa! That even hurt me! I thought- I thought you said you met- met two friends! And she's one of them! <laughs> and now she's a stranger? Look how- look, she even- she is surprised by this! She's like, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> so, please don't bring this up again, okay? Alright. Sorry, I was just curious. She seemed like she's sincerely sorry. It really is my own problem to deal with, so let's not talk about it. Okay, you've got a deal. So, looking forward to class today? If this wind weren't howling, I'd be as happy as I can be. I know what you mean. On windy days like these, I always have... problems. Problems? What kind of- Oh, 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 here we go! Oh! <laughs> There we go! There we go! There we have it! Am I gonna make this the thumbnail? Who knows? The wind begins to howl even louder. Great gusts sweep across the school's entrance. Hiromi tries to prevent her skirt from flying upwards, but completely fails. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's a Pokemon joke here, but I, I'm not the one to say it right now. She leans forward and places her hands to the front of her skirt, only for the back of it to fly up, leaving me with an unobscured view. Her face becomes a strange mixture of despair, panic, and embarrassment. Ah, so this is Danganronpa. Got it. No! Why now? <laughs> because anime. Her stockings are overlaying laced white panties. <laughs> they cling so tightly to her form that there is no room to imagine anything. <laughs> it's all very plainly exposed to the naked eye. Kaede, I'm going to need you to stop being so descriptive. While flailing around her, her screw is completely flipped inside out. She is at the complete mercy of the winds. The wind only grows stronger, too, as the storm draws closer. Why are you looking at me like that? What is wrong with you? Listen, it's just kind of happened, and I'm just as shocked as you, so you can't really blame me. 
I think she has. I think I, I think she have bigger problems than what I'm doing. I think she have bigger problems. Okay, it wasn't just me. How are you so calm in a situation like this? I mean, it's not me. So that's all I can say about this. It's not me. She tries to cover herself, but no matter where she places her hands, the wind reveals something. I need to get out of this wind. Her eyes begin to dart over all over the place, desperately searching for shelter in this storm. Don't you just stand there and stare? Help me! How exactly am I supposed to help her? Yeah, exactly. Push her into the bushes? What's, what's happening here? Please, this is so embarrassing! I can't handle it! For a split moment, she takes her hands away from her skirt. <laughs> the result is what anyone could have expected. It completely flies up. No, not like this! I don't know what you expected. <laughs> she takes off, disappearing into the school. So, that's why she doesn't like windy days. Somehow, I get the impression she's not going to be leaving until the wind dies down. Well, alright then. Dot, 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 dot. There we go again. For most of the day, all I do is stare at the clock. My teacher drones on and on, yet all I can concentrate on is the swimming club. I'm actually interested in the swimming club, which is strange for me. To my relief, I hear the bell ring. As always, I expect you, you to, reveal, to reveal the material when you get home. As the other students stream out of the room, he approaches my desk again. So, you actually went to the swimming club? That's right. I'm presuming you joined? Yeah, is that a problem? You'll probably already have a good picture of the circumstances around the swimming club. There was an incident that happened, and everyone has avoided it since. Why hasn't anyone told me what happened? No one wants to talk about it, the tragic circumstance. So what happened is bad. That's all I've managed to guess for now. It's best to show you some sensitivity. Uh, undoubtedly, they would have hate to hear the students talking about the behind their backs. Troubled, my teacher walks over to his desk and takes a seat. I don't understand why you want to know so badly. Some things are better left forgotten. Okay, but don't keep me... What, what's the point of even saying it if you're not going to tell me? Press to leave well enough alone to still... <laughs> don't you think? Talking about problems sometimes helps, though, doesn't it? I feel that it would be better left in the hands of a professional. He seems to grow weary of the conversation quite quickly. I guess it would not be appropriate for a teacher to comment on such things, though. The, the, the girl who spread those rumors about them is long gone, yet the rumors themselves still linger. Rumors? Just how much is there to this swimming club, right? Oh, I've said too much. Nanny! Anyway, I'm heading off. Have fun at swimming. Okay, alright, teacher. He quickly leaves before I can ask him anything else. Oh, so you're leaving me in your classroom. Got it. Well, I'm just gonna go to that teacher's desk of yours and see what kind of good is you got. Probably have a Snickers bar in there, and I'm gonna take it. Well, I'm probably putting too much stock in this. I think I'll go get ready. So, do I have any swimming gear, or am I just gonna swim in some pants? What's, what's, what's happening here? Well, here I am. I'm still waiting for Hiromi and Miyako to show up. I wonder just how hard this training is gonna be. They insisted that I'm to be prepared to fully commit to this. I guess we'll have to wait and see. A single figure steps out of the, the changing rooms. Hiromi is busy. It's just me who's gonna be doing the training, training, bleh, training you today. I, I couldn't get that out. So make sure you listen. I won't repeat myself, and I expect you to pay attention to all my instructions. She's so bossy when she wants to be. Another important thing. Don't think about doing anything perverted. <laughs> is is that is that all you think about me, Michael? You don't seem to distract yourself. You don't need to distract yourself when you're in the pool. I swear that it isn't my intention to do anything perverted to you. She scoffs at that. Of course you would deny it. I. Do you want me to walk out? Because I will. 
if, if you're going to be snippy with me, me at Gil, I can walk out right now. If you don't trust me, I can walk out. Why, why, why do you insist on doing this to me? Why? Doesn't it make sense to deny something that isn't true? Oh, j just be quiet! Okay, alright, Miyako. Having had enough, she lowers herself into the pool. Now then, how much experience do you have for swimming? Not very much. I haven't done it in years. Do I need to start with the basics then? You might need a reminder. I slowly lower myself into the water. A reminder couldn't hurt. Please show me, Miyako. It's weird that you're placing so much faith in me. I mean, you said that you were going to be teaching me today, so I kind of kind of have no choice in this. You haven't seen me swim yet. I Again, I don't have a choice to put faith in you. I'm sure you're a good swimmer. Don't make presumptions like that. Listen, you're in the swimming club. What do you expect from me? She was really bossy before. Now she's just become awkward. I don't really understand what the deal is, is with her. Uh, anyways, so the first thing you should learn about is breathing. After that, we can begin to work on your technique. She consults me though with, with all the basics. Bit by bit, it starts to come back to me. It's strange how a small reminder can bring back a flood of memories. I, I didn't think it would be this short. You said you weren't a good swimmer. I'm not. I haven't done any swimming in a long time. Why not? I couldn't imagine life without swimming. I... listen. <laughs> listen here. Not everybody thinks like that. I honestly don't remember. Well, either way, you are fine with the basics. She looks toward the end of the pool. Maybe we should get you started on doing some laps. Already? Okay. Sounds good. Show me what you can do, then. She gestures towards the diving platform. I pull myself out of the pool and make my way towards it. There's a sense of anticipation that, that's in the air as I climb to the top of the platform. Miyako looks at me expectantly. Come on already! The pool is waiting for you! Okay, is it really? I mean... Is, is it gonna take me on a date or something? What's, what's going on? I take just a moment longer to prepare myself. The end of the pool looks so far from away from here. Yet, Miyako was quite, quite quickly losing her patience with me. I thought that said quietly. What are you waiting for? Are you gonna do it or not? Listen, give me time, okay? Just, just give me time. I'll, I'll jump in when I feel like it, okay? Just, just, just calm down. Jeez! I cannot ignore that. Time to do it. My muscles tense. I spring forward, my arms reached out in front of me. My hands cut through the surface of the water, although allowing me to pass. Wait, although, where'd I get all- My <laughs> My hands cut through the surface of the water, allowing me to pass through it. It surges past my face, blasting me with shivering cold. <laughs> Alright, someone would get up my nose, but I'll try my best to pull through. Overarm was how I used to swim, so I guess I'll try it this time too. I kick my legs and put as much effort into it as I can. It's been a long time since I've used these muscles. My laps are slow. I guess that was to be expected, though. It's been a long time since I've done any real exercise, too. I'm barely on my second lap and I could feel my muscles screaming at me to stop. Has it really been this long since I went swimming? Listen, I guess it has. I don't know your past. It doesn't give me your backstory. <laughs> I... I actually like it. If that's not un unusual for me, then I don't know what it is. Despite how tired I feel, I don't want to stop. Uh, take a steadier pace. I better keep going at a steady pace. It, it would be better if I didn't overexert myself. I'm incredibly slow at the at, by the end of it, but I managed to do three laps before I dragged myself out the pool. You need to be more careful. Listen, I paced myself because I knew this was going to happen. I knew you were going to clap my cheeks again. I, I, I paced, okay? I paced. Don't push yourself too hard. If you get tired while you're in the middle of a lap, well... We both know what would happen. I'm sure that you would pull me out if worse comes to worse. How did I do? It's not bad for a beginner. Definitely not the worst swimmer I've seen in the pool. She pauses for a moment as she thinks to herself. But your technique is really sloppy. You definitely need to work on that. 
sh she could have put it in a nice she could have put it in a nicer way than that. I don't know what I was I was like off thinking about something else. <laughs> Unrefined maybe? Come to think of it, there really isn't any nice way to put it. It's bad. If it's bad, then what good is there in lying about it? Now then, what would help you apart from practice? Maybe you can learn something from observing me. Why don't you watch me some more while through too? Observing you, you say. Indignantly, she turns her back at to me and folds her arms. I told you not to think any perverted thoughts. Listen. Was it with boys who did? All right. You're the one who suggested observing you. Whatever. All right. Sorry. I'm just teasing. She puffs her cheeks, and when she when she hears that. Do you want me to demonstrate or not? <laughs> yes, please. I drag myself out the pool and take a seat at its edge. And see how much of a great swimmer she is. She seems very cat-like. All wound up, ready to leap, in a split second. Oh. I barely see it when she finally dives into the pool. She crashes into the water, piercing through its surface with expectational ease. I've never seen anything quite like it. She's practically gliding along the pool's surface. I can only look in, on in the wide awe. Ugh. She looks as natural as a dolphin in the ocean. Though I'm supposed to be observing her, I've, I've lost sight of that goal. I'm far more interested in watching this human bullet speed through the long in front of me. Her backstroke style is incredible. It's like watching a torpedo speed its way through the water. It's so dang, she's so dang fast, I could barely possibly keep up if I were racing her. I quickly forget that I'm supposed to be observing her technique and just become lost in the moment. It's like watching a mermaid emerge from the sea. For a moment I picture her as a mermaid. <laughs> it's an invasive little thought. Back and forth she goes, not once losing her pace. Her technique is incredibly elegant, streamlined in another word. That's only the way I could describe it. Absolutely no movement she does is wasteful. How does she get so good? I've barely done anything in, in, in a long time, and even I could tell how good she is. Back and forth she skims across the water surface with unraveled speed. If she she's this good, I can only guess that Hiromi is just as good as she is. These two must be water goddesses. That's the only way I could describe them. She slows down a little by by time. Yeah, she slows down a little by the time she's on her last lap. Pulling herself out, she lets out a little sigh. Not as fast as I was last time. I must have gotten out of shape. Huh? Wait, she'd go even faster than this? Right? The idea is almost impossible for me to comprehend. It takes her a moment to walk her way back to the other end. So, did you learn anything? I learned that you're an incredible swimmer. You can just tell when someone has an amazing technique. She blushes like crazy when I say that. Stop flattering me. I'm not nearly as good as her own. Yeah, but you're still good. Just because you're not as good as someone else doesn't mean you're not good. No, really. I think you're amazing. Quietly, she looks at me with those distinct eyes of hers. I never had a guy compliment me before. Uh, I, 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 I know why, but I'm not going to say it. What did you say? Sorry? <laughs> if you guys heard that voice acting, it, it, it pretty much says for itself. Nothing, I said nothing. But seriously, did you learn anything? Were you observing my technique? I... Sorry, I got lost in my concentration. Lost your concentration? What were you looking at then? I just got lost when I was watching you swim. It's kind of mem mesmerizing. You're just so fast. Mesmerizing. <laughs> you find me mesmerizing. But that's besides the point. <laughs> you didn't learn anything, did you? Sorry, I didn't. I should have known you wouldn't get it. Oh well, I guess we'll just have to practice more. You should dive right back in. With the brutality of a <laughs> slave diver, she forces me to keep practicing. The lesson continues on for a while. Despite how hard it is, I have so much fun when I when I lose track of time. That I lose track of not when I You guys get it. Hiromi eventually turns up. She didn't even bother to get changed. Sorry about that. 
I had to go do something quickly. Was it was it to tape down your skirt to your thighs because the wind? Don't worry about it. Strange, there's a grim look on Hiromi's face. She looks troubled, I suppose. She quickly hides that grim look and replaces it with a smile. Anyways, how's our new member doing? He's mediocre. <laughs> mediocre? Why'd I gotta be all that? Yeah, she's right. I'm definitely not as good as Mieko. Uh, of course not, you're only a beginner. But, I think, why is she like, pro gradually moving to the side over there? But I think you could become a good swimmer. Oh, I will have to see it for myself. Why don't you go in for a dive and show me? Sorry, I'm a bit tired at the moment. I'll be happy to next time. It's alright. I have no doubts. I have no doubt Miyako was working you hard before I came. I wasn't working him that hard. Okay, that's a lie, but alright. When was the last time you did any exercise at all? Football practice when I was in middle school. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I relate. <laughs> I definitely relate to that. Football? For a moment, she pauses and appears to be thinking about something. So, you didn't join football? You said you were looking for clubs. Why wouldn't have you joined something that you were familiar with? I have my reasons. Let's just say that I don't like football. So let's not worry about me. Unless I start drowning or something. <laughs> that isn't something you should joke about. <laughs> She suddenly gets really angry with me when I mention that. On another note, it's late. Sorry that it took me so long to get here. Miyako seems to forgot that her anger her anger went for over there. It's fine, Hiromi. <laughs> Kaede did well. Well enough anyway. So, is it over for today? Yep, we'll have practice again tomorrow. We hope to see you there, Kaede. Surprisingly, Miyako smiles at me too. Thanks for joining our club, instead of the football club. Uh, you're welcome, okay? I, I, I seen, I, I heard, I heard weird rumors and I'm here. <laughs> Both of them won her off to their changing room, leaving me alone. So, I don't think I did ba too badly for my first meeting. We'll have to see how well it goes. Dot, dot, dot. As I go through my apartment door, I hear a noise coming from within. The phone is ringing? I mean, did he not say that? He was gonna call again. Who could be calling me at this time? I let my dad rings at least once a week, but it couldn't be him. Slowly, I pick it up and raise it to my ear. Hello. Hello, Kaede. <laughs> I should have known, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I really didn't get a chance to talk to you last time. It was such an exhausting day. I really had to fall asleep by the time your father called. She's always such a. She's always been prone to doubt. It's funny that someone with such low amounts of energy ended up with my dad. So, I'm just calling to make up for that. I appreciate it, Mom. I've heard from your father that you joined a swimming club. Have you done anything to any practice yet? Yeah, we had practice today. How did it go? I bet you did amazingly. Not really. I'm just a beginner. It's been years since I've been swimming. I'm sure that I'm sure that won't be the case for long. Oh, she is talking. I couldn't tell because the text doesn't. The text of the name doesn't change. <clears throat> You've always been great with sports, Kaede. Always those expectations. It's a heavy burden to bear. I'm not really that great. You're your father's son. Of course you're great. Do you remember your father's trophy case? How could I forget? She only shows it off whenever someone visits us. My father not only excelled as at study, but was a great sportsman. Of course I do. Maybe that's where your calling is. If, if this really works out, your father said you could become an Olympian. Wouldn't that be amazing? Yeah, it would. More importantly, you made it sound like you the cute friends I've heard. <laughs> Not this again. Mom wants to marry me off or even more than my father does. Yes, I have. No, I don't want to date them. Oh, well, you should find a brother that's bright as soon as you can. Don't forget, I'm always looking for someone suitable for my son. 
Couldn't I just have a friendship with a girl without it being made into a romance? Really? I can pick for myself, Mom. You don't need to do that for me. Well, at the very least, you're just gonna sloppy first. She needs to be every bit as amazing as I know you will be. I will be, huh? Anyway, you couldn't have done much study yet, but do your best, okay? I will, I will. Going through the motions once again. As you need as you need to do a strike, Kaede! I know, I know. Anyways, I need to go. I'm glad to hear that you, you're you settling in, okay? I'm much like assault me, even if those girls... Yes, I know. It's fine. Okay, then. I'll talk to you later, Kaede. Remember that we both love you very much. I love both of you, too. Talk to you later. A click echoes through the phone. I'm finally at the, through that ordeal. What if I really am incapable, uh, and I have just deluded myself into thinking that I really am capable? No, that can't be true. The swimming club, it feels different. Miyako, Hiromi, I just want to compete with them. I want to be able to match them. Besides, swimming practice is like a soothing balm for my mind. You lose yourself when you slip beneath the water's surface. The world becomes filled with deep blue and surging bubbles. I do not have to worry about study, and my parents, anything else. All that matters is reaching the other end of the pool. It's something that I could simply just enjoy without having to be the best dad. My parents always seem to spoil everything I do because they want me to be the best. When all I want to do is have fun. Dot dot dot. Dot 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 dot. Dot dot dot. Oh dear, we're here. Okay, it's about that time I ended the episode, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed. I, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to drink a lot of water <laughs> after this. <laughs> I might do the next part immediately after this. I don't know, it all depends. Or I might do something else. But I'm gonna end it off here. Um, sayonara, guys. It's been a good one. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you later. Bye-bye.